Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about the POSIX standards of UNIX. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Let me begin the explanation of POSIX standards. So what is POSIX standards? POSIX stands for Portable Operating System Interface. So Portable Operating System Interface means so POSIX is mainly developed to achieve portability between the systems. Now we can ask a question what is portability? Portability means for example when you write a program in one system that program should run on other systems also without any problem your program when you write a C program that C program can run on any system yeah it should be in a position to run on any system without any problem that is portability you can use the same program in different different system getting guys you can use the same program in different different system so POSIX mainly in introduced to achieve that portability how we are going to achieve means I told you when every user is going to use the same standard obviously the portability can be achieved right C syntax in C programming language while writing the program the syntax whatever the syntax uh, you are going to follow that same syntax needs to be followed by all the people in the universe then only your program should be in a position to run in any system without any problem. So the POSIX standard is an attempt to achieve portability. Right? So POSIX that is Portable Operating System Interface is the name of a family of related standards. POSIX standards they are developed to achieve portability and that POSIX standard is developed by IEEE right institute of electrical and electronics engineers right why they introduced it to achieve portability how we are go how they are going to achieve portability means by developing apis application programming interfaces you can use this apis on any system that's why whenever the api is used in different if same api dif used in different different system i can easily run the same api without any problem right not only uh, to achieve portability not only to develop api the POSIX standards also used to develop shell utilities right shell utilities for unix operating system shell is nothing but a interpreter it is going to interpret the commands of a unix operating system right so that utility is related to shell also developed using this POSIX standards obviously while well interpreting uh, the same standards can be applied throughout the universe getting guys right so hope you are understanding so please if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment section and one more important thing because many versions of UNIX exist today right uh, each UNIX versions they will uh, provide one set of FA functions I told you Fedora is there uh, Ubuntu is there so each uh, of, uh, of, uh, Unix uh, versions Fedora or uh, Ubuntu they have their own set of API functions that's why it is difficult for system developers to create the applications that are easily portable right getting guys but Right. you can achieve the portability but because of this uh, different different versions it may be little bit difficult but you can achieve it it's not impossible getting next along with the POSIX standards subgroups of POSIX are also there what are those subgroups POSIX 1 POSIX 1b and POSIX 1c these are the subgroups of POSIX standards why? Why these subgroups? Why means these subgroups are concerned with the development of set of standards for system developers. 
here what happens means po6 is mainly for portability right uh, portability right po61 po61b po61c um, uh, they are uh, for different different purposes you will see that right in the coming sessions next po6.1 i told you there are uh, subgroups right so these standards are related to different different uh, features for example see here this committee this po6.1 committee proposes a standard for a base operating system api mainly the po6.1 standard specify apis for manipulating of files and processes so very simple po6.1 right standard is mainly considered for developing apis what type of apis may apis for manipulating files and processes for example to open the file to close the file to delete the file apis for these features po61 is mainly for developing this type of apis f open means file open f close means file close like that this apis are developed using po6.1 committee so everybody should use this apis only then we can achieve portability and also it is formally known as ieee standard 1003.11990 that means in uh, 1990 they introduced po6.1 ieee standard and they changed it to po6.1 actually earlier name was 1003.11990 and uh, it was also adopted by iso international standard you can see there iso bar iec 9945 this is the name of that standard that is adopted by iso po6.1 is adopted by iso also international standard organization getting guys so po6 in simple words po6.1 standard is for apis particularly file manipulating and process manipulating api so process apis means create process delete process that's one right next po6.1b so this committee proposes a set of standard for apis this is also for apis only but this apis for real time os interface example to achieve inter process communication po6.1.1b uh, uh, is mainly for real time os interface these are uh, apis related to operating system and also ipc inter process communication that means one process can communicate with the other process within the same system right for that purpose for inter process communication po6.1b developed the api right so you can use this uh, api to achieve portability when everybody uses this ipc uh, everybody uses this uh, api for inter process communication obviously uh, different different des devices can communicate without any problem thereby you can achieve portability right and this standard is formally known as now they changed it to po6.1b uh, po but earlier it was uh, known as ieee 1003 4 earlier it po6.1 was 1990 sorry uh, this was 1993 next po6.1c right so this standard po6.1c standard specifies mainly uh, this is for multi threaded programming interface and this is the newest po6 standards multi threading means you can do multiple tasks concurrently or parallelly without any problem windows windows is a multi threading system you can play the game you can uh, listen to the song simultaneously right or you can do uh, office work in a ms office in the uh, in the at the same time you can watch the movie also that is multi threading multiple tasks can be done at the same time concurrently you can do that so for doing such type of things in unix po6.1 c specified some standards getting guys and uh, not only that uh, these standards it is not a rule that uh, it should be used only for unix system no these standards can be used for uh, also generic oss also i told you for windows not only for using you can use this uh, for 
windows also remember this the kernel of the windows is developed using the c programming language c is c c is the same language used for unix also that's why it's not a rule that po6 dot one c should be used only for unix no you can use this standard for other os uh, also other operating systems also for example what are the systems that are using po6 dot one c standard means vms from digital equipment corporation os bar from uh, os bar 2 from ibm i told you right windows nt windows nt for multi threading windows is a multi threading not only unix windows nt is also using this po6 dot one c right so these are all the examples this windows is not a unix system but they are using this next one more important thing to ensure a user program conforms to po6.1 standard that means when you are writing the program to tell the system you are writing the program using a po6.1 standard what you have to do means the user should either define the constant what is that constant po6 source at the beginning of each program then only it will understand that my program is using the po6.1 standard what is the constant you have to use here po6 source getting guys it should be included at the beginning of each source module of the program that means before the header only before the header only you have to include this so in this video we will explain one program also you will understand that before the header only you have to define this constant how you are going to use it means using this define syntax hash define po6 source or you can specify d po6 source option also because if you are using a c++ compiler uh, d po6 source is uh, suitable rather than the po6 source getting guys right uh, c and also if you are using a c++ c++ compiler you can see this uh, you can see include cc minus d po6 source star dot c uh, definition constant also getting guys then only your program will understand that you are using your the program is comp uh, com complete to the po6 standard confirms to the po6 standard next po6 dot 1b defines different manifested constant to check the conformance of user program what it is in po6 dot 1 it was po6 source but in po6 dot 1b you are going to use a macro called as po6 c source getting guys if you are using a po6 dot 1 standard you have to include po6 source if you are using a po6 dot 1b you have to include this uh, constant po6 c source and the value this po6 c source should contain the value that value indicates the po6 version right to which a pro user program confirms getting guys po6 c source also contains the version of the po6 you are going to use to write the program getting guys so po6 source you have to use this uh, constant using a defined keyword when you are using a po6.1 standard if you are using a po6.1b uh, the defined constant will be po6 c source and the values i told you right the uh, the version values can be see here so see po6 c source values i told you right the version value first version of po6.1 this is second version of po61 and this is third uh, sorry uh, po6.1 and po6.2 both both for both you can use this value other than this two if you use this third value it will be good for you because you can write your program in both the standards right see instead of po6 c source you can use po6 source also that is not a problem so you can use that also but however some system supports only po6 standards not all the system very uh, little uh, very 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 uh, small amount of system may not support the po6 c source but uh, instead of p6 uh, p uh, po6 c source you can use po6 source also 95% of the system it uh, they will accept it and along with these things 
there is also one more uh, constant that is POSIX version uh, this uh, POSIX version it will give the version of your POSIX uh, uh, standard so it is defined in the unistd.h header this is the header unistd.h is a header and this uh, POSIX version macro or a constant is defined in this unistd.h header I already told you POSIX version contains the version of the system you are using getting guys so hope you are understanding the concept if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section next so I'm uh, giving a example of a program so what it does means you know, the program used to check and display the POSIX, uh, POSIX version of the system you are go you are right uh, you are going to run this program is going to give the POSIX version of the system getting guys POSIX version of the system it gives the POSIX version of the system on which it is run see so I already told you I'm defining the POSIX source using the define uh, keyword next POSIX C doors C source both of them I'm using both of them no problem you can use it this is the version number of a POSIX. Uh, 1993-09L means uh, which version of POSIX you are using? This one, POSIX1 one and POSIX.1B. Both of them. Right? Next, IO stream. This is a header, you know that. IO stream. Input output, stream.h, C++ header. And this is a unistd.h, I told you, right? And obviously, this is a main function the execution of the program starts with the main function you know that this is C program right simple C program see I'm checking the POSIX version of the system you know that right so see if define POSIX version it will see out means C++ sorry it's a C++ program right so C out it will print print the version C out means output so it will print the version right you know that right system console to POSIX so version it will display the version here else if uh, version is not defined here version is defined right that's why it will print that version number if it's not defined definitely it will uh, print it as undefined return 0 means successful your program will uh, come out successfully getting guys very simple it will uh, print the version if it is there if it's defined otherwise it won't print it or won't uh, yes it will print it as undefined getting guys very simple so hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you